wait for real football. <laughs> Flag football actually taking over in Charlotte this weekend. That's right. But will it take over the world next? Mike Lissette has more on a sport that has some pretty big dreams. On the return, Minter in for the touchdown. Growing up, Madison Fulford lived for Sundays in Panthers football. Me and my dad would just bond and watch it every Sunday. It's like our, our thing. Carolina third and four. Captivated by the athleticism of her favorite player, Steve Smith Sr., the Concord native began to dream of playing herself. However, at that time, it simply wasn't possible. I wasn't allowed, one, because it was all boys playing, and two, because my mom didn't want me to get hurt. But mom couldn't stop the former three-sports star athlete at J.M. Robinson High School years later when she started playing flag football with her fellow cadets at the U.S. Air Force Base. That's when opportunity came knocking unexpectedly. This guy who coaches women's flag saw me playing, and so he was like, hey, like, you're pretty good, like, come check out the women. And I was like, okay, yeah. Funny how life works, right? Fulford is now following her passion. And in a crazy twist of fate, the 28-year-old is doing it near where she grew up, along with the USA Women's National Flag Football Team. They, as well as the men's squad, are taking part in an international competition at the U.S. Performance Center here in Charlotte. You're looking upwards of 2,000 athletes here from the U.S. as well as seven other countries. As it turns out, Fulford is joining the sport at exactly the right time. What we're seeing is just incredible interest, particularly on the girls and women's side. And we're evolving now from what really is a recreational sport, the youth level, intramural to college level, and adult amateur beyond that. USA Football CEO Scott Hallenbeck believes the sport is growing so fast it has a legitimate shot at becoming an Olympic event in 2028 when the summer games return to Los Angeles. Fulford has her fingers crossed. That dream is there and, and we're going to continue that push. Fulford hopes to still be playing by then, but even if she's not, she can at least say she played in front of the person who inspired her in the first place. Steve Smith was here today. It was super amazing to be able to meet him and him to see me score. I really don't have the words for it. A full circle moment for an athlete in a sport whose only direction now appears to be up. Madison and Team USA went 3-0 and today. They have a chance, if things go well, to go for the gold Friday at 6. The men's game will take place at 7.30 after that. By the way, just how long? What's the end goal with this, by the way? I'm just <laughs> he's, curious. He's I don't a little know. obsessed. He's asked you about I, three yeah, times yeah. No, today. Are you going so. like like Phil Jackson like beard, like oh. like circa 96? It's not or, dark enough, so you no, know what I mean? No, I think the longer it gets, the darker it'll get. <laughs> I get it. It's so people can face. differentiate us so that they know I don't have the facial hair and you do. That's it.